don't know. If, can y'all hear those rain frogs? I don't know if you can hear the frogs or not. But there's a slough right down through here. Um, there's a creek. And on the other side of the creek, there's a slough. It's probably a 20 acre slough or so, but I hear and see wood ducks flying over all the time coming in and out of it. And then I have like a major deer trail coming through right here. And I usually got corn out down here in this little bear spot uh, to keep them keep them fed. And I got a little trail camera set up there. So I get shots of them coming through. I see them out there all the time. I don't know if anybody's gonna, if they're gonna come through here with me out here yammering, but uh, we may. Um, but anyway, I'm starting this new project today. I'm gonna be doing a white crappie. Um, I've decided on the white crappie because I've done one before and so I've had a little bit of practice. Uh, this May, I'm going to be entering the World Taxidermy and Fish Carving Championship up in Springfield, Missouri. Um, now, I won't be competing in the world event. Uh, I'm just going to enter as a novice and uh, I, they're not eligible for a world title. Uh, and, and you know I don't expect that anyway but um, it goes uh, it starts at novice and then there's an intermediate and then there's uh, the open category which is for the uh, the masters that you know the guys that really know what they're doing and do, that do the top work um, but I'm, I'm a little ways off from that yet but I'm gonna be starting on this today um, as you can see I've already got my pattern drawn on um, I drew this particular pattern myself. I had I had one that uh, I decided not to use because I didn't like the shape of the head. And uh, but I did use the pattern from it for the top and bottom profiles. So uh, I'll redraw those on after I get this cut out. But what I'm about to do next is is hog off the the bulk of the material and then start refining the shape down. So I'm going to get started on that and. Uh, me just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the uh, I've got the shape hogged out, roughed out for the most part. Um, I plan on using the normally I've, I've in the past I've done the tail as a separate piece and added it in, but I'm going to try this time to leave it on and carve it as a whole piece here and then just and then I'll just add the the dorsal and the anal fins and the pelvic and pectoral in as a separate piece uh, that's always been my trouble spot as far as mounting the fins is this is this tail attached to the caudal peduncle area here so it's a uh, I'm, I'm gonna try it this way and, and see how it works out <coughs> so uh, what I do need to do now is get 
the movement drawn in on the top and then um, I'll probably have to cut off a little bit more of this angle here and then I'll get it on the bandsaw and, and do the final refined cut on it. So let me get that set up for that and get that drawn on and then we'll get uh, from there we'll get it done from there. All right, it's getting close. Um, I've still got to do a lot of thinning off, thinning it down. Um, I'm not gonna make it like a pregnant egg-laden female. I just want it to be a natural shape. So I'm not gonna give it a big fat belly. I'm gonna give it that nice narrow taper that crop you have. So um, I probably, do a little bit more off camera, and then uh, I'll get out the uh, Fordham and use a rough bit to, to refine it down even closer. stopping point. Uh, the sun's getting kind of low in the sky and it's starting to cool off a little bit out here. But I think I've got it down the overall shape, especially the silhouette, down with the pattern. Still got quite a bit of work to do on the thickness and that'll give me more of that motion I'm looking for. So but there's a lot of material that's going to have to come off here that's way, way too thick in here. Um, I'll do that in part two. I need to work on the mount and uh, just some more overall detail. Maybe start doing some detail on the gills. Um, but I'll start that part two. But I appreciate y'all watching. And if you have any questions or better yet suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and uh, give me a thumbs up if you would. Uh, appreciate the subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but I'm gonna get started on this. I'm looking forward to finishing this and I'm gonna try to keep these down uh, shorter this time. I know I said that last time, but I'm really gonna work on that this time. But anyway, appreciate y'all watching and we'll see you on two.